if you haven't been to AMSET to see From the Vault, Tyler Museum of Art, please try to get in before February 28th. That's its last day, so stop on by. In that exhibition, there is a wonderful collage from artist Clyde Connell. This is called Sundance. We are going to see if we can make one like it. Alrighty guys, this is Miss Crystal at the Art Museum and I'm so super glad you stopped by to pick up some supplies to make some art activities with us. Um, in your bag, you are gonna have this one right here. should have five items in there. Three pieces of construction paper, a glue stick, and this canvas board right here. This is a canvas board. We're gonna put our bag to the side and we're gonna open this up. It's plastic on it, so we're gonna open it up. We're gonna get rid of this plastic right here. Now, glue stick, three pieces of paper. Now, in order to get it to look like our inspiration, we are going to just rip. We're not even gonna need scissors for this one. You can use them if you want to, but it's not necessary. So I'm just gonna start ripping tall strips. Look at that, and I really, really like the way this looks. Like that's gonna look really good next to some other colors when we get it all done. So I'm gonna see if I can do it nice and neat and make some strips, see if I get lucky, yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Look how cool that's gonna be. I'm gonna go ahead and rip maybe two more of these. Oh, that one got wavy. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. Let's go to some red. I'm gonna wave it a little bit. Wavy, wavy. See if I get some cool tear edges right there. Mm, let's do a couple more. Oh, let's see if I can get a thin one. Oh, 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 I'm getting close. I'm gonna grab it right there. Now for some black. I think black is, with these red and blue paper is kind of harsh, so I'm gonna try to make them very, very thin. I don't want lots of black in mine. You might if you get these colors. Everybody's gonna have different colors in their bag, so uh, you'll have to pick from the colors you have and how they might look good together. I really like how that, look at that. I really like the way that tore. I got lucky. Uh-oh, I think that might look good. I'm gonna go with it. It's okay. You have a bunch of little ones if you want to, but our inspiration piece has tall, thin lines. So mine's gonna be a little bit different, and yours probably is too, and that's okay. Okay, so now I have all these pieces, and I might need some more, so I'm gonna leave these over here to the side. I'm gonna leave those to the side in case I need them again. These are the pieces that I didn't tear. That came off and maybe I'll use it, maybe I won't, but we're gonna leave it over there. I'm gonna take all these goodies that I tore and I'm gonna start placing them. Let's see, what might look good? Hmm, I'm gonna bend that over right there until I'm done. Hmm, okay, let's see, hmm, hmm. I'm just gonna keep placing them until I find something that I like. I'm gonna go with that. So now I'm just gonna glue it all down. I'm gonna speed this up super fast. All right, now that I'm all glued on there, I have a little bit here and a little bit here where I can see the canvas board. And you can, if you wanted to, go back and put blue under there. I'll do it for this one to show you. If you just don't like to see that canvas board, I don't mind seeing mine, but I'm gonna show you what to do just in case you don't wanna see that. If your rips weren't nice and easy, just lift it up, put a little piece under there. And I'm also gonna put a little bit more glue. Glue, glue. 
make that stay down there. So, so that you can cover it up if you don't like to see it. And we could do the same thing right here if we wanted to. There's a little bit of white and there's some white over here. It's up to you how you do it. I don't mind seeing it, but you see how we have all of these pieces left over all up here? All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it over. I'm gonna press down really hard and then I'm just gonna press down real hard right here and then tear these off so that hopefully the board will be really nice for us and be our tear bar or help us make a nice solid line. That's not super solid, so I'm gonna take a little bit of glue right here. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna glue it down and then I'm gonna fold it onto the glued edge right there. That's pretty neat looking. That's pretty neat. It's not all shaggy like this. So we're gonna do the same thing on this side. And ta-da!